I used to be able to see this stuff. Oh, hi. Let me ask you a question. Have you reached the age or do you know somebody that's old enough to have to use these? They're reading glasses. Little tiny things that help you focus on the words in front of you. Maybe you have glasses or contacts. Something to help you. That your eyes are able to focus on something new instead of all the blurriness that you see in front of you. What if, what if we can do that with our own hearts? Take just a little thing, but allow it to focus on things that are bigger, that are both now and in the future, that are of us and are of the Lord. Let's talk about that as we meet in the upper room. Our devotional for today is not much fun for Tuesday, April 7th, 2020. Our scripture reading is Revelation chapter 22, verses 1 through 5. Our verse of the day is, What no eye has seen, what no ear has heard, and what no human mind has conceived, the things God has prepared for those who love Him, these are the things God has revealed to us by His Spirit. That's from 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verses 9 to 10 from the New International Version. Our thought for the day is this. Focusing on things above can change my perspective. Maybe you don't know where to find today's scripture lesson or devotional. Log on to upperroom.org devotionals. On that page, you'll see a link that clicks you to today's devotion. If you're looking at this at a different date, just simply put the date for today's devotional in the search engine, and you'll be able to find it quickly. Go ahead. Pause. We'll wait for you. Well, the author of today's devotional is struggling with their body as they get older. Things change. But our scripture lesson today and our scripture focus talk about a different thing. In fact, the verse we read from Corinthians says, no eye has seen, no ear has heard, no mind can comprehend what God has prepared for us. Do you live that way? Expecting great things because you worship a great God. A scripture from Revelation that was our reading today shares about how God builds things with beauty and serenity. In fact, the leaves from the trees of life are meant for the healing of the nations. What an amazing picture of how God is constantly doing things that we can't perceive. He's healer. He's savior. He loves us. He calls us to things that we can't even see. So what about you? Where is your focus today? Are you caught simply looking at things that are in front of you? that you can't see God's work because your focus is too close. What if God calls you to look and to focus on greater things? His work, His kingdom, His call for you today. Let's close with a prayer found in your devotional. Dear Lord Jesus, fill us with your thoughts so that we can see everyone in our lives as you do. Amen. Thanks again for joining us today. You can find links to theupperroom.org plus these video devotional times on the website that's on the screen in front of you. Plus, there are more interactive features like requesting a prayer request or asking a question. We pray that God blesses you until we meet again in the Upper Room.